hello, welcome to the stream. We are playing some Terraforming Mars today. Really excited to get this back into, into the play. I did it yesterday, it was really fun. So I'm really excited to bring it back to y'all today. Let's go into the game and get going. Um, we are playing a uh, the solo version of the game today. So it's going to be strictly the solo. We're not playing against anyone else. We're playing the solo of the challenge and we're trying the different, uh, different factions or corporations that are available in the base game. So let's jump over to the game and see how we can do. All right, so the first one that we're doing, we have two options. We have the Mining Guild or Interplanetary Cinematics, which I just think is a delightful title for a for a corporation. So we've got some options. We have 20 steel and 30 money. That's pretty good because uh, we, we're just really good at building buildings. And, oh, good morning, uh, Catherine. How are you? Oh, afternoon. It is afternoon now. I forget that I stream start streaming at noon. I often forget that. Uh, let's see here. So, Interplanetary Cinematics is really good at building... Uh, wow, both of these are very, very, uh, pretty equal in terms of what we can do with it. Uh, this is really good at playing events uh, and building buildings early. So, you can build a bunch of buildings early that support playing... Uh, events, the red cards. So that's what this guy does. Because again, you want uh, the interplanetary cinematics wants big, bold things that happen once and done, and they're they're done again that they can film. Uh, like crashing the moon into Mars. Like that's that's just great. Mining Guild is like this is. I think this is the only faction that starts with two tags to begin, and it does start with two building like building tags. Uh, so they are focused heavily on on that. You start with a steel production and five steel and 30 money. So over the course of the game, we're getting about the same amount of steel just because we start with the one steel production. But we also get extra steel production if we build on uh, a steel or titanium location on Mars. So if we build on these places, we actually get a steel, an extra steel production rather. So that's, that's pretty good. Let's see here. Um... Let's let's do this. Let's put it. Uh, which which uh, corp? Let's let's put it to the vote. Uh, interplanetary cinematics or mining guild. Put it to the poll. Put it to the people. Looks like uh, we are doing, we're going to do number two. All right. So we'll get that going. That window. All right, so finish that. All right, so we're gonna do mining guild. See how we can do. Okay, so remember, uh, we have a bunch of steel to begin, and every steel resource that we have reduces the cost of uh, building type buildings by two for everyone you spend. So, I mean, this is not bad because we're going to want a ton of buildings, and it counts as a building itself, and we can make it super cheap. So, this is a, a pretty good one to do. Um,. This one? How about what's this one do? Uh, you get one point for every city. Is that what? What is this? Uh, one. Oh, okay. So you place the commercial district tile. So you get this tile, and then you get one point for every city that's adjacent to this tile. Not super useful, but um, at the cost of one energy production, we get four four money production. We also get. <sighs> to put out a commercial district city. Um, and we can place that anywhere. Just place it. Okay, so we could place that anywhere. This is a possibility. Uh, let's see what the other five are. Uh, this is a an ocean for eight money, not bad. 
Uh, no other building things here. This is unfortunate. Uh, this might be good to buy early just because it gets us a plant production. So over the course of the game, like it's just good to have. Um, I feel like this, that's that's really good to just have. Um, oops. This is really good, but it requires seven science tags, and right now we just have two building tags. So this is this is one of the best cards in the game if you're going heavy science and you can get it late game. Like it's still it's still pretty good. Uh, let's do adapted lichen. I think this is a good one to start just because it's fairly cheap and it gets us the one uh, plant production that can get get us going on that at least. Um, we only start with 30, so we got to be careful of that. Uh, this is probably okay. I mean, it is an extra building. Um, but we do have to invest more into, into this by getting an energy. So we'd either need to do one of the uh, standard projects. I think it costs 11. So it's basically add 11 to this cost, and that's what we're going to have to do. I think this is a little bit too expensive for us, actually. I don't think it's going to pay off for us in the long run, and really, we can't focus on points early game, uh, just because we, we are, we're not going to have the ability to do that. Uh, we want to place down... We do want to place on locations with uh, the steel and... <laughs> Oh, Aaron. Uh, so this is... I, I, I like this, except for the fact that it it requires us to get to negative 14 Celsius. Uh, that is a little bit further than... Uh, like, we're going to have to wait a long time to get this, and it's also pretty expensive. So I don't really want to do this right now. Um, optimal arrow breaking... So this means that whenever you place a space event card, so it's a red card with a space symbol. So it's pretty limiting, actually. So I think, actually, so like, like this isn't even a space event card. So we wouldn't be able to... This would not count for the, the red card there. So that's not that's not ideal. Um, commercial district. Why don't we put it to the poll? So commercial district is a... No, we, we don't want that. But do we want... I mean, we could get two extra cards here. Um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it to a poll. Which one what were we looking at? Uh, we were looking at actually getting this early might not be bad. So this one is uh, nitrite reducing bacteria. So you add one microbe to this card or remove three microbes to uh, increase your terraform rating. So this is basically a way to get extra money. This is your terraform rating over here, but it's also passive income generation. Uh, happy fun time. So if you're bad at this game, you can play along. And I explain all of my th uh, thoughts and reasonings behind what I'm doing. And every t once in a while, I put it to a poll. And uh, it's up to the chat to determine what we want to do. So I think this is actually a good option. This could be a good option because it's an immediate money generation. And it's going to pay off for us. Uh, it's basically going to be net neutral uh, over the course of the game. We do get one extra money production right away. So that's actually really good. Um, and actually, it's going to be net positive. So actually, this is this is almost for sure we need to get this. Uh, because it's going to be net positive for us regardless. So uh, this one, like, this is really good it, once we get to here. But it's going to cost us three money to pick up. And we're already spending nine out of our 30. So I'm going to put it to the poll. And uh, designed microorganisms. So we're going to put it to a poll. And if you're just joining us, or organisms, oh my gosh. Yes or, oops. Yes or no. Uh, so go ahead and vote right now uh, if you want us to take designed microorganisms. This is going, we're thinking long term here. Uh, and in terms of do we want uh, this card late in the game? And based on the fact that we have four viewers and there are two people, I think we're going to just finish that. I think that that's going to be a yes. We're going to keep it. All right. So we're going to we're going to keep this one. All right. So we're paying 12 money, but uh, we will be able to 
build some cards pretty quickly. Um, we'll do that. Okay, so we're keeping those ones. So, uh, if you're just new to this game, we're playing the solo version of Terraforming Mars, which means that uh, it's slightly different than the base game uh, in that we have different requirements. You only start with 14 uh, Terraform rating, and this also tells you that uh, you have to you only have 14 generations to complete the game so that's 14 rounds total and to complete the game you need to achieve all three of the requirements to terraform mars you need to get oxygen all the way up to 14 you need to get temperature all the way up to eight degrees celsius you can see how many steps that is that's a lot and you need to build nine oceans now the the easy way to do this is to go to standard projects and just increase the, them via these three right here. This increases temperature, this in, uh, lets you put down an ocean, and this lets you put down a greenery, which also increases oxygen, because when you put down plants, you get you get oxygen. Uh, but generally, it's going to be more cost effective to increase via other means. So plants, uh, plants produce things here. So anytime you see a brown border like that, that's production. So we'll actually increase the number up here. Uh, this number is what we get at the beginning of every round. So you can see that we're getting one steel at the beginning of every, every round uh, after this one. And that one, uh, so basically we'll get one more steel to use for the next round. If we increase the plant production, that means that we're going to be getting plants passively every turn. Uh, for every eight plants that we have, we get to put out a free greenery. So keep in mind that normally a greenery costs 23 money. So if we get eight plants, that's essentially 23 money for us. So plants are very important if we can get a lot of them very quickly. Uh, that's the way to increase this. So plants increases this. Likewise, heat allows us every eight heat that we have allows us to freely increase our temperature by one. So basically eight heat is approximately equal to 14 money. Uh, so you see this little arrow here. Uh, this is energy production. So energy, for every energy that we have left over at the end of the round, it becomes heat. So if you think about energy, it's like the grid. And when we need to move on to the next step, it's like, oh, well, excess energy just kind of goes into heat. So any energy we have left over at the round goes into heat. So heat basically has two ways that it can you can get it, which is why there are more steps that need to get up to the top. It's, it's easier to get, therefore it's uh, easier to there are more steps that we need to go through oceans really the only way to build out oceans are is by creating an aquifer or through specific cards that specifically put out oceans oftentimes uh, red there see how there's blue cards and, and green cards here I uh, there are also red cards red cards are one-time effects that just go away once you use them uh, green cards are one-time use abilities that just kind of do one thing and then then they're done Blue cards are act uh, provide actions that you can do for the rest of the game. So uh, the earlier that you play blue cards, the more that you can use them. So I'm definitely going to be building this card first. The reason for that is because I can use nitrite reducing bacteria. And I use... Excuse me? Oh, here we go. I, I can use this ability, yes... And I can turn three of uh, the resources on nitrite reducing bacteria into a terraforming rating. So like this. So every four turns, I get to basically increase my uh, terraforming rating by one. If I find other cards that let me put out uh, these things, it's a way for me to convert these microbes, this, this is a microbe resource, into a terraforming rating. Terraforming rating is not only your point value, but also your passive uh, money income every round. So we want to increase this as much as we can. So we definitely want to do that. Okay. Confirm. There we go. Okay. So now we don't have any more actions. We have seven money left. Uh, we can still build the medical lab if we wanted to. Uh, because, it, it, see how it costs 13 and we only have seven. But because it has a building tag, uh, you can use the steel resource to build it instead so for every one of these resources down here that you build that you use it contributes two money towards the production of this uh, building so we could we could spend you know all 10 uh, all, all, all five of these to get 10 money towards this but uh, it only would increase our money production by one that's it uh, because we right now our tags we only have two two building tags so 
we'd get one for every two building tags. So we kind of want to wait, wait for this to be built until we have at least one more building tag, if not a couple more. So uh, we'll hold off on that one. And that means that we're really not going to be able to do much else this turn uh, because we just we don't have any actions. We do have an effect. Anytime we uh, build on a... So, come on. Really? Okay. This means that anytime you build on a tile that has one of these resources, you see right here, these resources, I get a, st I get a steel production. So I do want to start building things as quickly as possible because it lets us increase our steel production by more. So right now we're going to just pass and go to round two. All right. So we get 15 more money, which means that we have quite a lot more money to play with in, in generation two. And remember, we have 14 rounds to complete the game. So, uh, let's go through what these cards are. Oh, thanks, Happy Fun Time, that, uh, for subscribing. It's really appreciated. So, fish. Uh, fish requires at least 2 degrees Celsius. So, let's just... Uh, it requires a prerequisite here. 2 degrees Celsius is up here. Way up here. Look at... look at It's, it's way above here. So, that basically means we need to go through, like, one, two... A, lot, a ton of... I'm not even going to calculate the 14 steps. Something like that. Uh, 12, 12 steps or something to before we can even play this card. So, basically, not a good thing to pick up right now. But, let's, uh, so, we if we got this late game, it might be worth it, but it only gives us points. That's it. So, we don't want it. We don't want to do that. I'm looking at this because it's cheap, and it also has the steel icon. So, that's actually really good. Um, and, ooh, hello. So this means, uh, robotic workforce means that you copy a production box of one of your building cards. So uh, the building cards are uh, these green buildings, uh, or actually you can also do blue. So the, you basically copy the, this bottom box. Whatever is produced, it's the one-time thing, that's what you get. So we could copy another one of our, our uh, building buildings. So like we could copy this one again later. So we could build this and then basically build it again with this. Uh, wow. Okay, so insulation lets us reduce our heat production by X, then increase our money production by that same amount, which I don't think is very useful. So, because this has the building resource, I think I want to build it, and also it gets us platinum resource and money production, so I think this is definitely something we should pick up. But, uh, because each of these cards costs three, I need to, I uh, also, I need, I need to consult the, consult the chat. So, robotic re workforce. Knowing that this would let us copy either Fuel Factory or our other card here, Medical Lab, letting us get more money. But, it gonna, it's gonna cost us three money right now, and we can't pay it off right, uh, soon. So, do we want robotic workforce? Yes or no? So go ahead and in the chat right now, vote whether or not we want to pick up Robotic Workforce. This is uh, going to be a, kind of a mid-game payoff for us, but it could be good, could be bad. It's it's really up to the chat to decide what we want to do. Okay. Does look like we are going to be going with a yes. So let's uh, finish the poll. We'll, we will pick this up. It's going to be slightly expensive, but I think we'll be fine. All right, so. Uh, da, 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 da. So actions. Number one, uh, we absolutely should use this action because it's free to use. Uh, we can use each action on cards once per round, so we're definitely going to do this. Uh, and because we don't have three... Uh, bacteria on here right now, or microbe. We don't have three microbes on here right now. We just have to choose the option that is add one microbe. So we're going to do that. Okay. And you can see that we have, uh, you can see what resources are on cards here. Uh, let's see here. We don't have any actions left, so let's see what cards we can play. Again, we're getting passive steel production, so that's really good. Uh, okay, so we shouldn't be able to build this card. Oh, Max! Oh! Oh, I misread this. So some cards have a... Uh, 
a maximum prerequisite and then some of them have a minimum prerequisite. This one happens to have a maximum prerequisite. Well, I'm really glad that chat picked this one up because this uh, we can only do it if it's below negative 14. So, oh my gosh, I, 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 we should most certainly build this one. Because this will let us get two passive plant production. So every four turns, we're getting a uh, an oxygen. And it also lets us place on a, uh, a greenery out, which will let us uh, place on one of these tiles here, which will let us get extra uh, steel production, which just increases our engine. So that's excellent. Uh, we can't build this right now because we only have six steel, and really, I don't really want to right now. Um, we do need to look for cards that give us uh, energy production because we have to lose an energy production so that we can get these two. So we definitely need to consider this. Okay, so I don't think we can do anything else this turn, so let's pass and uh, move on to the next round. Yes. Okay, we're sitting with not a lot of money right now, so we do need to focus on increasing our, our uh, terraforming. Every terraforming thing that we do, so if we increase oxygen, increase temperature, or put out a, an ocean, we get plus one to our terraforming rating. So we definitely want to focus on that. Hello. <laughs> okay, uh, what you just heard was me looking at this card. Uh, this card is, I think, one of the best cards in the game if you have production in steel or uh, uh, titanium. These two resources decrease the cost of other cards, and this card lets us increase every one of those values by one. So basically what me this means is that because we have seven steel resources right now, uh, we essentially have 14 money. If we buy this, all of a sudden we have 21 money. <laughs> and it increases the value of every one of these. So basically, we increased uh, by, we're going to get back seven money immediately upon buying this card. So this is just a no-brainer to pick up. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is, okay, Lightning Harvest. This lets us get an energy production and a uh, energy production. But we have to have three science tags. So we need, need to have built this and this. Um, and we already have one science tag built. So you can see that like we've already built this uh, designed microorganism. So we already have a science tag available. Uh, so that means that we will be able to hit this. And this is like a, oh man, this is a really good card. Because we're getting one energy, uh, one money production and one energy production. And I mean, we get to throw on a point on top of that. So we're definitely going to pick that one up too. All right. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do, uh, we absolutely need to buy this first. Uh, this just increases the rest of our things incredibly much. So we're going to pick that up. We have zero money left. But that means now we have 21 money if we're building... I uh, our buildings here so i think we should definitely build this one or should we wait one turn it might be better to wait one turn so that we can use it efficiently because uh if we if we spend you ha you can't like split up a, a cost here so 13 i uh, divided by three does is not equal so we're gonna have to overpay with steel so i don't really want to do that Ooh, we can't forget though we need to use this action we must use it. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, we don't have any money. So the only thing we can buy is, is this card. So yeah, next turn, I think what we'll do is I uh, buy this. We can buy this. We can buy this one for four, four steel and one money. And this one for just straight up nine money to copy this back and this will get us a ton of stuff uh and then we will be able to build this as well so that's yes this is this is gonna kind of be our plan we're using up a lot of our early turns just to build an engine and that's kind of what you have to do but uh this is gonna this is gonna be close the cards that we're getting are, are pretty good we have a good plan for like the next round and a half uh but we don't we can't really do anything right now because again, I, I don't want to overpay, so we're gonna we're gonna pass and just go on to the next generation. Okay. Okay. What cards do we get? Um, okay. So, 
Okay. This gets us two oxygen, but we have to, uh, to do this, we actually need to decrease our energy production by two. But then we get all of this stuff. Uh, this is production and two steel production, one, oh man, this is a really good card if we had energy production. So I don't think it's uh, a really good idea. But meanwhile, like this card, This card just gets us uh, a, a production of, of these guys uh, every turn. I think this is a really good card. I think we have to do that. Um, yeah, we're going to do it. Okay. So, uh, first things first is we don't have any cards like this to do. So, we're going to buy this. Uh, and we're going to decrease cost down to one, like this. So it cost us two steel, but then we basically paid for the entire thing for free. Uh, that gets us a titanium production. Oop, can't forget to do this. So we're getting one more here. Yep. So now there's three on there, so next turn we'll be able to increase our terraforming rating by one. That's good. Okay, and then now, uh, what we could do... Ooh... Might be valuable to do this now. Yeah. So we're going to use this. We're going to get one more uh, titanium mine. So we're going to start getting two titanium per turn. Keep in mind that every titanium now, because we have this game effect that says this is plus one, titanium normally gives a plus three money to any uh, building that has a space symbol. But now it's giving plus four. So basically we're generating eight money per turn for space things which is really, really good. Um, and how many tags do we have? Okay, so by building this now, I this now, we get two extra energy production per turn. So I think this is definitely something we need to do now. Okay, so we do that. Yes. Okay, now we're, now we're, now we're cooking with gas. So now we're getting 17 money per turn. This is going to be much more, and we're getting tons of extra stuff. So keep in mind, like, this is, we're getting 17 from passive money generation and our terraforming rating. We're getting basically two extra, uh, three extra money from this steel production, and we're getting eight extra money from this. So, like, we're getting a decent chunk of change for, for various cards. Uh, unfortunately, we can only... Hmm. Like now we can actually, oh, can we, we can't do this yet. We have to do this one first, then this one. Uh, but this one is basically free for us because we'll have two steel. Uh, this one, we need to have eight, uh, eight money to buy next turn. We need to buy this. Uh, and we will be able to buy it because we do have at least three science tag. We actually have four science tags. So this is a pretty good card to have. Okay. Um, and then we can immediately jump into this. Man, this is, this is gonna be nuts. Okay. We're spending most of our early game on <laughs> just building an engine. So, I mean, that's kind of what the mining colony need, needs to do. So, uh, okay, wait, hold on. No more actions to do. I'm just double checking that there's nothing else for me to do right now. Uh, I can't build any cards. I yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pass. Okay, next generation. Let's let's go. So we just got a ton of money. But unfortunately, we have not done anything in the way of terraforming. So that is a bummer. All right. So uh, cards that give us things for uh, points. Like, this is just, like, points. That's it. This is this just gives points. That's it. I don't think that's very good. Uh, this lets us put a uh, city down, but at the cost of two energy. Again, we're, our energy is just not great. <sighs> This lets us decrease our energy production by one to increase our terraforming rating by one. Again, that's, we don't have energy production. Insects. For every plant tag that we have, we increase our plant production by one. I don't think we have any plant tags. We don't, we have microbe tags. So this is not useful. This is not useful. This is just points and we don't wanna focus on points, especially now, and this is not a great card either. So I think we're gonna just go with none. Okay. So, uh, we're going to use this, yes, and we're going to increase our terraforming rating. There are three microbes on this card, so we can do that. So, yep, we'll do that. 
I'm also on the lookout for uh, things that give us uh, microbes because that lets us accelerate the microbe card a little bit. All right, so let's look at our cards. Uh, again, we need to build this. So this is what we're going to do here. We're going to build this, yes. Uh, so now we have one energy production. We also have one extra money production, so that's good. And then we can build fuel factory at the cost of free. Nice. Again, we're not getting any energy. <laughs> I'm kind of banking on the idea that we're going to get a bunch of space events uh, eventually <laughs> that will let us put down oceans and raise temperature. I, it, I'm really hoping that this will happen. Oh, we can just build this right now. We probably should, just because it get, gives us passive plant stuff. And so, you know what? Hold on. Uh, do we want to save the money, or do we want to buy plants right now? I. Uh, what do? Put it to the, put it to the poll. I. Make more plants. Or save save money. So go ahead right now. Do we want to make more plants, or do we want to save money? The idea is that we're, we could play this right now if we wanted to. But if we save it, well, we're going to get we're going to have 30 money to play with next turn. So, it's either we have 21 money to play with next turn or we have 30 money to play with next turn at the cost of a plant. So go ahead and vote in chat right now. It was very dry in my house. Very very dry. I'm going to get some lotion. While everyone's doing that. Right. Doesn't look like anyone's paying attention. <gasps> Do I get to make this decision? I think so. Um, I think what we're going to do in the case that no one is uh, going to say anything. Uh, we're going to just build it. I'm going to build it. I think plants late uh, having one more plant late game might make the difference between winning the game and not. So let's let's do that. And we don't have anything else to do. We don't have any actions left to do. So let's pass. All right. So we have a metric ton of titanium now. But now we actually need to start doing things. <laughs> All right. Well. This card is pretty good. This card would need to, uh, if we, okay, so this one, it would cost us 13 money. And we have seven rounds left to get. So this would end up being po net positive for us if we built it this turn. Uh, so that's a, that's a decent thing. We don't have any cards right now, so we sh definitely should pick up a couple things. We do not have any Jupiter tags right now. Otherwise, this might be pretty good. I uh, this lets us make events cheaper, but we're not seeing events yet. Uh, uh, we do have four science tags, like that is something that we do have. So anytime that we have that has a requirement like four science tags like this, this is definitely something we should pick up. And we want to play cards with this space thing, and we get four passive energy production, which eventually becomes heat. So this is definitely something we should pick up. Um, I'd want to build this this turn if we did. Um. And none of these have the star symbol. Like, this one does. Like, I could make this drastically reduced. Um, this is essentially 20 money towards a star ability. So that that's not bad. Um, hmm. But, again, we don't have a Jovian tag. We need a Jovian tag before we can even build this. And there's it's a risk that we won't even get this. So... Uh, we won't find another card with this. So, um, we could get one more. Like, I absolutely want to build this this turn. We could probably buy one more. And if we're going to do a lot of events, which I think we need to, like, we actually need to find events so that we can start exploiting them a little bit more. Uh, this is probably going to be end up being uh, very cost efficient for us. It's going to cost us a little bit up front to build, but... It's going to end up, if we, if we play at least three events, which I, I plan to do, it's going to pay off for us. So that means that this is probably not going to, this is more valuable than this. Okay. So we'll buy both of these. 
So we do get to place a greenery. So let's do that right now. Uh, where do we want to place it, though? Uh, do we want to increase our steel production? Probably. So yeah, we want to we want to play on here. Don't forget that this is I'm the reason I'm thinking about this is in our game effects. Our our faction, our corporation, allows us to anytime we build on a location on Mars with one of these symbols or one of these symbols, uh, I get a steel production. So this is good. So I'm gonna just grab that there, and this also lets me flex into if I need extra cards, I can just come up here and build here. Once I've placed a, a, something on Mars, I can't do anything else. I, I, I have to place adjacent to them uh, for other greeneries. So greeneries always have to be placed adjacent to other ones of my buildings. So this is kind of strategic, so I can keep getting more stuff this way. All right. Um. <laughs> so I want to build this, because I'm going to get four energy per turn. Yep. Also gives us an extra science card. So if we get it, anything that requires science tags, Oh, we've got them. Check this out. Five science tags. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and we can't play this one yet. Again, like this is not super important to play right now. Like We want to make sure we play it before we get red cards, but like it's not super important. Make sure to use this card. OK, we're going to add one microbe. And confirm. And uh, okay. so nothing else to do this turn. We do have one of those, we're done. Okay, next turn. All right, generation seven. Ugh, we're halfway through and we haven't terraformed at all. And there's still no events. Holy crap. Okay, so this means that I need to have at least four uh, water. Uh, this lets us reduce, uh, so the neutral player has like ways that we can reduce this so like we can we can build I don't think this is really useful because again I, I have passive ways of increasing this anyway uh, we need at least four oceans we don't even have oceans if anything I want to build this oh, man so we can get passive heat generation because we're gonna need passive heat generation so we're just gonna buy that oh man we're, we're in trouble the, the cards are not being kind to us this game all right uh, we need to just Get one microbe on there. And let's build this guy. Sure. Yep. And then use it right away. Uh, we, we need heat generation. Without heat generation, we're, we're not going nowhere here. We need to start moving on this. We've got one oxygen out of, like, this is, this is scary. This is super scary. All right. Um, and again, like, there were no cards that let us, like, Build. It's ridiculous. Okay, well, this is what we're doing. Okay, like, we have a ton. Of, like, give us, for God's sake, give us uh, cards that let us do actions. Give us red cards. Give us red cards. Give us red cards. There's one. Oh, come on. Ugh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We are, we are, this is, what's happening right now is we are getting shafted by the shuffler. Wow. Okay, so what this does is whenever we play one of these tags, including this one, we can add a plant, a res or uh, gain one plant or add one resource to that card. So, <laughs> I, I honestly don't think that this is even going to be useful. Oh my gosh. Uh, what this means is that uh, this is actually cheaper. So this would cost six money, but we have an effect that makes it so that all space cards cost two less for us. Uh, but this is just a point. This is just a point. And points really don't matter right now. <laughs> and you know what this does? This just removes two animals or five plants from any other player. That's all that that does. And you know, how, you know what that does for us right now? Jack. This does Jack. Okay. Well, hmm. And you know what this does? This just gives us points for Jupiter tags. That's it. So this is a point card. This is a point card. This is a negative card for other players. And this is a card that doesn't really help us all that much. It may be, it might give us a couple plants. Which I don't think is worth it. 
So we're going to keep zero of these, exactly zero of these. I'm just going to build this right now because I know that we're going to need to do events. And um, we're going to, we just need to start using our money. We need to build, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to build an aquifer. And you know where I'm going to build an aquifer? I'm going to build an aquifer and get more cards because I need more cards. I need to see more cards and I need to get cards for free. So that's what we're going to do. Wow. Okay. I got trees, which I can't build until it's a negative four temperature. And we're at negative 30 right now. That's great. Okay. Well, this one. Okay. Uh, sure. Because I have 11 titanium, this card's free. It gets us a free card. So basically, I just spent two titanium to get a free card. Holy moly. Man, these draws have been absolutely horrendous. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I... So, I mean, I basically got two money. Actually, I should probably steal this. I should probably... Yeah, so the, basically the, the neutral player is just, it's it's basically a gain a resource. So like, <laughs> I am stunned at how bad this, these draws have been. It's so bad. Look at how much stuff I have. Look at it. <laughs> I am on generation nine. I have five turns to go. <laughs> Give me anything here. You're killing me, game. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have some things here now. So this this is a, a card that lets us get a temperature and an energy. That's fine. I like that one. Uh, this one is a point card. Again, it's just points. Eh. This lets us put out two oceans and two of those and lets us remove... I mean, this is not not, not terrible. But it's going to be free for me because I have this much titanium. Because titanium can, can be used on this. So we're, we're definitely keeping giant... So this is this is a joke. So giant, it's a giant ice asteroid. But yo, that is a giant ass asteroid. <laughs> or a giant, giant ass ice droid. And flooding, we lose four money. Oh, I get to... Mm. Okay, so basically it, it, we lose a point, but I don't care. It gets us a free ocean. I guess I'm fine with that. It's a, it's a super cheap ocean. So, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, so we're going to place out these things. And I'm going to get a new card. Holy crap. I'm going to increase the thing here. That's good. I'm going to increase the temperature just latently because I have that. Um, let's do the actions for here. So I'm going to use this. Yes. I still can't do that yet. I need to do that. Confirm. Yep. Um, I'm going to use this. Okay. The reason I'm doing that is because I have so many of these resources that I can pay for these just straight up. So like this, watch. I can just Eh. Now I, this cost me one. <laughs> I increase temperature, and I also get uh, steel resources back. So that's just great. All right. So now I have I have a decent amount of energy production now. This is good. Giant ass asteroid. And now I this cost me two <laughs> for eight titanium. That's just ridiculous. Okay. So giant ass asteroid. Uh, let's. Let's do this because it also increases our uh, our steel production when we do that. And let's put the other ocean there to get us a card. Okay. Okay, all of a sudden we're getting stuff. I mean, we're, we only have five rounds left, but we've done a ton in this one turn. Uh, sure, neutral player, take that. Okay, tons of stuff. Okay, that was, that was really good. And we can't play anything else right now because... I uh, we don't have anything. Oh, let's see what we got here. Capital. Uh, this lets us get a ton of money production at the cost of two energy production. That might actually be good. Um, but 
Wait, why can't we do this? Oh, minimum four oceans. Okay, so we'll be able to buy this for super cheap too. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, uh, oh, hey, look at that. So this lets us, oh, so this this is something that we definitely want to build uh, because it lets us uh, add two microbes to another card. So essentially that lets us put it on this card. So it basically accelerates it so that we're doing it every other turn now. Whoo, okay, so now I start, I'm starting to see there is an end in sight. It might still not be good for us, but like we're doing pretty good. Like that was a very good round. All right. Still no events. Oh my gosh, this is killing me. We just need cards. We just need cards. Okay, so to go over what this does, uh, this is a search for life. So this is basically a chance at getting three points, which, uh, again, point cards, really don't care. Uh, this we can still build uh, whenever, when you play an, uh, an animal, plant, or microbe tag, including this one, add a microbe to this card. And this is just, this is just points. Game, you gotta stop doing this to me. Uh, so we, we could get extra titanium production, which I don't think we need right now, or extra plant production. Uh, minimum 24, and we're at that. So this is something we should definitely pick up. Okay. Okay, so we're getting a decent amount of, decent chunk of uh, heat production now. So this is actually pretty good. Whew. This is going to be tight. Okay. Um, we definitely want to build this. Uh, this will let us increase our money production for the rest of the game. So this is definitely important to do. So we use this, yes. And we add two, yep, to the nitrite reducing bacteria. There we go. And then we're going to use the nitrite producing bacteria and lose three of those so that we can get an extra terraforming rating. Essentially, this is a point, but this is also money production as well. So again, this is, this is good. Do we want to get extra heat production? Two extra heat production is good because that means we're guaranteed at least one per turn. So yes, we're going to, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gonna add an ocean right now. So uh, important to note is that uh, we do have a free spot on this ocean right here. Uh, this would let us I uh, get four money back. So we'd have oops, wrong wrong thing. So we would get we it would pay pay seven get four back. So we would have just paid three. So that puts us down to sixteen. Oh, we're one off. No, we definitely want to do that because this let, then lets us do this because then there will be four oceans on the board. We definitely need to do this right now. Okay. Yes. So we're going to put this one right here. Come on. Come on. Okay. Uh, so now we have four oceans on the board. That's good. It gets us a, a, a terraforming rating, which is good. It's extra money. And then now we can build our capital. And we'll get... I mean, this is points, but... More importantly, it does this. So use. Wait, no, 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 no. No, I want to. I want to reduce the cost of this as much as I can. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now we can build the capital, and I want to build it either here or here, probably here. Yep. There we go. Uh, we get reduced amounts of that there, but that's fine. Um, we're getting tons of money now. Okay, so we have lots of money. We do want to do this. So we can get eight heat production per turn. Okay. And we still have money left over to play Lycan. So we get extra stuff here. Uh, let me see if I can't turn the, the parallax off a little bit here. Um, planet motion. Yeah, there we go. Let's do fast there. Okay, so there. there I, I turned that off. Thank, thanks, Catherine. I should, I should have done that from the beginning. I didn't know I could. Okay. Uh, this will have to wait until we're at negative four, which is way up there. Uh, okay, so we have four turns left, and we need to do all of the terraforming. But we'll be able to do two heat production this turn, so that's actually really good. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Remove an animal from any card to add it to this card. It's a point card. Uh, this lets us put out a greenery and get two money production. 
Uh, and it's a building card, so it's uh, made cheaper by our steel. So this is actually a pretty good one. So it's a way that we can build using our steel rather than uh, plants. Um, this is makes space cards cheaper. Can't play it yet. We'll have to wait until it's five energy. This is a this is a point card. Man, I don't think this is worth it. Just because two extra, uh, it's I don't think it's worth it. I mean, it's it's essentially free for us because it's we have so much of this. But like, I don't think we're gonna do it. Okay. What we need to do right now is we need to put a greenery down on this tile right here so we can draw a card. Holy moly, we need to we need a way to draw cards. That's that's our limiting factor right now. Ah. Oh. So we have to decrease our money production. So that so basically this costs us 7 money. <coughs> but we can then look at cards and decide to buy it or not. I think we have to. I think we have to buy, buy this card. So we lose one ener uh, money production. Hold, hold on, let's uh, increase our heat. Thank you, thank you. Um, so let's, wait, no, no. Use this first, yes. Do this, confirm. This, yes, confirm. Use, yes, can do this, there we go, yes. So I think that's the last time I'm gonna wanna use that card to get money production, uh, because now I want to focus on getting plants. So yes, I want to look at the top card. Do I want this? Spend two money to get draw a card and we get to place a restricted tile, yes we do. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now we can actually get more cards per turn. This is good. Okay. Um, and we just got this card, so we're going to buy it. Yes. And we need to place the restricted tile anywhere we want. I'm going to place it right there because, again, it gets us more cards. We need cards. We need the event cards. Why are event cards so hard to get? Oh, my gosh. I have so much titanium that is just waiting to be used. All right. So let's use our steel here. So now it costs that. I'm going to put a protected valley down. So I could place this up here. Oh, no, this is a, uh, I have to place on this. Ooh. Let's do that. Okay, so that gets us an extra steel production. That's good. Uh, pay two money to get a card. Yes, please. Show me an event. Yes. Yes. It's just a big asteroid now. Again, like, this is what we need to see. We need to see tons of these things. So, uh, let's make that essentially free. I, I We just need to do those for the rest of the game. That's all we need to do. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry I'm not giving a lot of choices to chat right now, but like these are like, we need to do these things now. Okay. I, I don't want the, I don't want this card. I like, we need to focus on getting all of these things all the time. So, um, Extra heat production. Do we do it? We have three turns left. We're getting one per turn. I think it's necessary. Yes. Okay. On the plus side, we have all the tags in the world. Uh, and our effects right now, if you're just joining us, uh, these are our effects. Uh, anytime we build on a tile with one of these on, on Mars, we get a steel production. Uh, all of our steel and uh, titanium resources are plus one. Uh, space event, uh, space cards are two cheaper, and events we get three money back when we play them. So, those are all the things. All right, I don't know if we're gonna win this, but frankly, I don't really care because, man, the shuffler in this game has just been shafting us. Like, I'm looking for event cards. I'm like digging through the deck trying to find event cards, and this is what it gives us: none. <laughs> like. I would say the the deck is probably about a like a a fourth like one out of four should be events <laughs> like that's how many there should be in this game. I think we need to get this. 
Because this just increases our plant production, and frankly, we need it to even get, come close to doing it. Um, what is this? Uh, when I play a science card, I can discard to draw. I mean, it's card draw. <laughs> oh, no, no, so this is either... <laughs> Uh, so this puts a science resource on the card, and then when we play another another science type, we can then draw a card. So we might get a card out of this. So this is not useful. <sighs> Energy becomes money at this point. I don't really care about that. Holy moly. This is nothing. Nothing about this is good. Um... No, nope. not 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 worth it. Okay, so let's increase the temperature. And let's hope that our actions give us something. Let's use this. Do we want to buy this? Absolutely not. Oh my gosh. Pay too money. Buy a card. Give us something, game. For heaven's sakes, are you kidding me? Get a plant for every city on the board. How many cities are on the board? Three? Four. There's four cities on the board. So I get four plants. I mean, it's a greenery. So again, I want to just focus on this. Uh, I'm just going to use this to just do this. Again, these things are free for me to do. Uh, and do I want extra heat? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's get out this greenhouse. Yes. Okay, so we have some options about where to place this. Um, do we want extra steel or do we want extra plants? I mean, probably plants is the best idea at this point in the game. So let's do that. Heat is a maybe. We need at least seven to... Oh, this is just points anyway. Blech. We need five oceans. Oh, we only have four oceans. Let's uh, let's just build an ocean. We have tons of money. Let's build an ocean. Yes. Here we go. We get two extra plants. We might just need to start doing standard projects, actually. We have a bunch of money. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Wait, hold on. Okay, I have to. I have to buy this for ten. Okay, so now we're getting six plants per turn, so that's actually pretty good. I don't think it's fast enough, though. Where are all the events? Uh, so let's make this free. Thank you. Yes. And now we can put out another greenery. Yes. Um, if we put it here, we'll be able to put out another greenery next turn, so that's probably what we'll do. Increases to six oxygen. Um, again, like this is not a useful card. It's just giving us two, two, mu two points. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. To do in uh, twenty-one things to do in two turns. I don't know if we're gonna make it unless we get super lucky with the next couple draws. <laughs> There's. I just cannot believe the luck that we've had. We could... Okay, hold on. So we're going to get... We're going to have 20 heat next turn. But we could... If we do this, we could get 21. 20, uh, 22. Which is not enough to do 3. So that's not worth it to do. Uh, so I think we're just going to pass. We're just going to pass. That's what we're going to do. All right. Well, this is an event. Makes the next card cheaper. I don't think we're ha we're in, in dire need of money anytime soon. Uh, this is reduce heat production. Like game, 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 my friend. <laughs> like 
<sighs> oh, actually, this is not bad. Uh, get one plant production for every two mi microbe cards we have. And we have three microbe cards. Actually, we'll have four. So actually, we'll get two plant production off of this. Oh, this is excellent. This means that for, well, next turn. We have one more turn. This will guarantee us at least one more <laughs> uh, plant. Actually, two more. It guarantees us at least two more because we get one more after that. So, I've, I mean, might as well, right? Uh, increase heat. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Yep. Eight plants. Make it into a greenery. And where are we placing it? Um, sure. And then we do this, and we do worms. Use, yes. So that guarantees us at least two more uh, plants. So that's one, two, and we're going to get one of those. We're going to get an ocean. Okay. So actions. What can we do? Uh, might as well, yes, get a plant. I mean, these things are free. Might as well use them when we can. Um, you just draw a card. Tell me it's a good event. <sighs> Game. Game. I mean, this is a free card for me. I, I can just use three steel and just build it. So, yes, that's fine. <sighs> Might get us one more. Look at the top card. Okay, so for those of you who were with us yesterday, this card is completely useless right now. If we got this early game, this would have been amazing, but this card is literally useless. So it makes all standard projects give us money back, which we would have had to pay. It would, we would have needed to do like four standard projects, and we're just not going to have that option. <sighs> I mean, we're going to do this because we can. We can't do that yet. So next turn, we'll get one extra terraforming rating. So it's one extra point, but it's not really going to do... Like, no joke, right? Curse you game. This is this is bananas how bad our draws have been. Seven. We need 16 for next turn, and we'll have 16. So we'll be able to increase heat by two next, next turn guaranteed. I mean, my god. <laughs> All right, we're just going to do this because we need to. Um, let's build a greenery. Because that gets us an, uh, a temperature increase there. And then let's build an aquifer because why not? Uh, we'll build it there. And then, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're done. <laughs> I swear, if we, if we had drawn just a couple more red cards, like, I swear, if we get all of the red cards right now, I'm going to lose my mind. There's one of them. Well, we're, we're definitely taking this one. And we don't have enough energy to even do this. Are you kidding me, game? <laughs> I just, like, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that one, too, because that's good. I just, okay. This game is literally out to get me. Like, I have 20 titanium resources, and I've had nothing to spend it on. Like, I mean, sure. Yes. Uh, we get to add two oceans now. So I'm going to add one there just because it lets me do that. And here, because that lets me get two plants. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, we're turning this in. 
Um, I'll place it here just so that we can get more plants. Holy moly. Increase here. This is We get to increase heat by two. This is actually going to be fairly close. I just realized this. Because now we get to place this right here. I swear if we pull this off, this is going to be like ridiculous. Because we just finished Oceans. We have to buy a card. Let's see what we got. One point for every for one point for every uh, event card played, which is currently five. So I could pay eight to get five money back. Like <laughs> this game sometimes is infuriating. <laughs> Okay, we need to math this out now. Hold on. Let's use this. Three extra heat. So we get 13. So that would be two more. Yep, we're buying that. Okay, so let's do that right now because it's essential. It's it's free. Yes. So we're going to have 16 heat next turn, which lets us move up two more times. I Is this game how This might actually be a lot closer than I had originally thought it would be. Okay, we need to be really careful about this. We might actually be able to win. We might be able to win, despite this game actively working against us. So, we know that... Oh, no, this is not going to actually trigger. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm not going to have an extra turn to use heat. I'm only going to have a turn to do plants. Shoot. So, obviously, yes. Thanks, Catherine. Oh boy, um, we can get rid of this card. Hold on, let's let's get rid of cards that we're absolutely not going to use. So standard projects, sell patent. We do not want breathing filters because that's just a waste of money at this point. We're focused on winning the game right now, so let's definitely just sell those uh, for two extra money. So what I need is sixteen of these. So I think, let's buy this. Okay, so that's 16, so that's 16. Okay, okay, so we, if we buy one, we're done with that. So I don't need to, I don't need to buy this. So we're, because I have, again, uh, after this round, I have one round of using plants. So I need to... Oh my gosh, this is so close. There are no more places to get cards. So I think we're stuck with these things. So I absolutely must do this. And I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, sure, I'll place it there. Because again, we, we have enough plants to, to do the thing, so. So, plants are done, and then... I think we're going to be... Are you kidding me? <sighs> yeah. 
Ja. Ja. I have nothing else that I can do. So... If I was able to spend my heat... <laughs> if I was able to spend my heat... If we were able to get our heat from that turn, we would have won. I, you know, I feel like we were so close, despite the game giving us literally nothing. Like, again, this deck has close to over, like... I'm still I'm still stunned. Like how many options? Uh rules? Cards. Cards? No. I'm just I'm trying to find a, a card list. Okay, so, um... I'm just looking this up right now. Um, from- I want just content by base game. Sorry, I'm- oh, here, um... <sighs> like, I was- it was super close. I- this is not the right thing, um... I, I'm pulling up an XLS right now just to see the breakdown of these cards. Just to see how unlucky we got. Because any red card at any point could have saved us. Um, this is not helpful to me right now. Um... by type no Ugh. I just want I'm trying to find just the cards what is this by a card okay so there are I'm just trying to... I, I'm looking at this right now here. I think I have a good one. Okay. I, I think I know where this breaks off. I've looked at enough of these things that I can... Uh, that's part of it. Snow algae. These are part of the... Okay, so 207. Like 207 cards. Oh, no. There are 207 cards. How can I just... 180 of them. I just want, oh my gosh, content. This is not good. I'll try to figure out how many exactly there are because this is absolutely ridiculous. The fact that we had, I, how many draws did we have where we saw no red cards? None. There, there's about one in four cards that are red. Like, that's, that's my estimation based on plays of the game. Or maybe one in five, but like, the red cards that we did pick up were garbage. They didn't do anything. I ended that game with like, eight steel and like, ten titanium, which would have let us play any one of those cards for free. But, no. 
no, it just had to be like that. All right, so I'm going to take a quick break. I will be back uh, in a little bit to play one more game of this, and we'll see you in just a little bit. 